Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick interview question that somebody asked me on LinkedIn that uh, Naveen, can we replace these if else condition when we initialize the Selenium web driver on the basis of browser? So especially when we write the cross browser uh, test or let's say cross browser logic that I really want to write. Generally, this is just a dummy code. Generally, what we do that browser equal to Chrome, then number of if else, if else that we write, and then we write the else part here if the browser is not found. Same thing if you really want to use it with the switch case statements also. So let's see, this is one simple method, launch browser method. We are passing the browser name here. And then on the basis of the switch key, the respective case will be executed. And then if case is not found, it will go to the default and throw your own exception and then return the driver from here. But what if I really want to get rid of all these uh, uh, switch case statements plus if else statements also, I really don't want to use that. I really want to make it more flexible. I really want to use, uh, let's see, for example, with the uh, principles like factory pattern, we can use it here with the design pattern like factory pattern plus with the help of GDK 8 or 11, um, a functional programming or dynamic programming also can we write it to initialize the web driver here. Right. So what we are going to use, we will not use the switch cases and all those things. We will use the concept of single responsibility principle also along with the factory pattern and the hash map and the JDK 8 functional programming. OK, so let's see how to do that. So let's see, I'm having already one Selenium package. This is a sorry, Selenium project. This is my Selenium package. I'm going to create one fresh class here. And this class will behave like a let's see, for example, web driver factory class. So this is the factory class, which is responsible to initialize the driver, right? And here we have to use the factory pattern. So what exactly I'm going to do it here? Let's see, for example, I'm going to create one, let's see, public variable. And then I'm making it, let's see, a, a final variable with the map. And then here, this map is holding what? This map is holding the string. A string means that what is your browser name? And then you have to give me a supplier. So supplier is actually a functional interface, which is coming after JDK eight. And then here I'm writing what kind of supplier. So here I'm saying supplier of the web driver as a generics, we are supplying it here. And then I'm writing, let's see one driver map here. And then we have to import map from java.util package. So simple import that java.util uh, supplier also we have to add it. And the map also we have to add it here. You see like this, right? And then initially, if you really want to initialize with the null, so let it be null also here. Okay. Now what we will do, we will create a constructor of this class, this one. And then in this constructor, what we will do now in this particular constructor, we are going to initialize this particular hash map. Okay. So this is equal to a new hash map that I'm going to initialize it and then diamond bracket. And then after that, simple okay and hash map is also coming from the java.util so let me just import that as well okay and then the, this driver map that we have to initialize so remove the final modifier of the driver map okay let me remove it we don't need final so let it be here like that okay now what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to start putting the values in this particular map so simple writing the put here and the string is what the string is a chrome and now we have to give the supplier because the key I'm expecting, sorry, this is the key and the value I'm expecting in the form of a supplier. So how to use a supplier? So here I'm going to use this keyword. It means the current class object. It means it will just access the web driver factory current class instance in the object. Then method expression that I'm going to use. It means two double uh, colons that I'm going to use it here, like colon and colon. And then we have to create a method here. For example, create Chrome driver, just like we do it in the factory pattern. Okay. Like this. So obviously this method is not available in this class. So we are saying in this class, this method is available and no need to create the object of WebDriver factory. Simple use of this keyword and access. This is called method expression and access this particular method. So it says, okay, let's create a method here. So now I'm going to create a method here and this method will be private in nature because we are giving what? This method or this constructor, let's see, will behave like a uh, will behave like a factory for me. And this is the internal factory mechanism. I don't want to give the exposure to the test client. So that's why I'm making it private in nature. 
I simply say, okay, fine. This will be your supplier. Create Chrome driver. And in the create Chrome driver, what do you want to return? In simple, in the create Chrome driver, I simply want to return what? Instead of writing null, I simply say, okay, new Chrome driver here. Simple return that. Okay, that's it. Now in Selenium latest version, we don't need to write any system property, nothing. And then I'm returning the new Chrome driver from this function. And then instead of supplier web driver, I simply say, I'm going to return the web driver here like that simple so i can do one thing that like this i can create other methods also so let's see now i'm going to create one for chrome one for firefox one for edge browser like that so let's see create what create firefox driver then create what create uh, let's see edge driver or safari driver and then accordingly i'll initialize it here so this is for the firefox driver and this is for the edge browser driver simple Okay, let me import all of them. Now I can do one thing, the simple, uh, this colon colon that we have written and I just need to call it. So here we don't need to write the function like this. You can just simply write this and then I really want to access this particular method. So now when you see control and click on it, it is moving. So likewise, I can do, likewise, I can add multiple value and key and value pairs here. So one for Firefox and one for Safari, uh, sorry, Edge browser also. So second key that I'm writing is Firefox and uh, create Firefox driver. And the third one that I'm going to use the Edge and then create the Edge driver here. Simple. So this is the constructor that I have created here. Simple. Now I'll do one thing. I'm going to create a factory method. Okay. That will be public in nature and only the client, the user will access this particular method. So here, this method I'm going to create, let's see, this is my get driver method. Get driver method says that, okay, you give me the browser name with the string, whatever the browser name, which is you are giving to me, then I'm going to give you what? Then I'm going to use this particular driver map and then dot what? See this. Here we have a method in the hash map, get or defaults. Get or default means either you get this or if the condition is not satisfied or, or the key is not available, we will give you the default value. So here I'm saying what exactly the browser value. So I'm saying the browser value is this. Let's see someone is passing the capital Chrome also. So immediately I'm converting to the lowercase. If someone is passing with the space also, here I'm writing the trim also. And what is the default? So default, what? So try to understand how exactly get or default works. If I'm passing, let's see Chrome, then browser name dot chrome will be as a key will be supplied here but let's see i'm passing opera browser opera browser in the driver map is not available there is no key like opera browser so it will go to the default part it means it will go to the second parameter here and in the second parameter as a supplier i'm passing with the lambda expression that i'm using it here like this okay so simple i'm passing that if the key is not available go to the second one and then with the help of Lambda, here I'm writing, if you really want to write just like we do it in the switch case in the default browser not found or something like that, or whatever your default browser that also you can use it. So let's see here I'm saying system.out.println that uh, uh, browser not found something like this. And then whatever the browser that you are supplying the browser name here. And then after that, I simply say you return null if the key is not available from here but if the key is available then do what then you simple call the get method right simple call the get method get method means on the basis of key whatever the key that you are passing the respective value will be returned it means the respective method will be called from here so simple method the get driver method we have returned and that's it now this is ready so now we have to test it is it really uh, working or not so i can do one thing let me just quickly test it. So what we will do, we will uh, create one test ng class. Okay, so let's see, I'll go to my my test and then I'm going to create a new class here. And the class that I'm going to create, let's see, this is my Google test. Okay, any class. And then here I'm doing what? Here in the Google test, I'm creating my at the rate, let's see one before test annotation or before method, whatever it's up to you and then public void 
let's see this is my setup method that i'm going to use right <clears throat> and then in the setup method what will you do then in the setup method first i'm going to create the object of web driver factory why so that the constructor of this class will be called and i'm making this constructor public in nature so that anyone can access that so here i'm making web driver factory and let's see this is my uh, factory reference variable is equal to web driver factory so what will happen let me import that so web driver factory constructor will be called it will initialize this uh, hash map over here and then after that once we get it i'm just using this particular factory and calling what i'm getting my driver here and once you get the driver you have to supply the browser name because that method is expecting the browser name and then i'll do one thing here i can maintain its own private let's see a web driver reference here so that if you really want to use a driver for other places you can use it and the same driver that i'm maintaining here i'm storing it here so that in the tear down method also i can write you know driver dot quit or something like that so simple a web driver and then this method is actually giving me so one second the get driver is returning what the web driver is uh, the get driver is returning this and then instead of void we have to write what we have to write the web driver here so let me just simple write the web driver here right so the get driver and then here also we have to write a return keyword because we were not returning it right earlier now this is fine because obviously we have to return something we have to return what the web driver here so here i'm writing return whatever the key is available the respective method will be called and it will return let's see the key is chrome it will call this particular method then it will return the chrome driver from here okay so this method is perfectly fine now and then again after that the error is gone so driver equal to new get driver we have returned okay so browser is initialized then after that i can simply start writing my test annotation and then let's see if i really want to write public void what let's see um google title test i really want to check the google title then in that case simply use your driver dot initialize your get and then whatever the url http is let's see www.google.com later on you can convert that into a framework also it will not impact on the page object model and simple driver dot get title that is what i'm using it and then uh, i'm storing it in quick uh, title variable and printing it on the console so system dot out print ln then the title is plus title okay if i really want to quick write an assertion here so assert dot assert equals the actual value is what the actual value is title expected value is a uh, google here perfect and then after that i really want to close my browser so here i'm going to write one at the rate after test annotation and after test annotation says that public void a tear down method tear down method means simple driver dot quit the browser okay so that's why we have to maintain one driver at the class level so that i can use it here that's it a simple test that we have written later on you want to add more and more test cases you can add it let's see is it really working or not so how exactly it will go it will call this get driver method passing the chrome here if the key is available yes key is available chrome key and then if the key is available it will not go to the second parameter it will directly okay fine with this chrome key give me its value so value will be what this particular value it means from this class call this particular method so it will go to create chrome driver method and return what return the chrome driver this is what we do in the switch case statement also right and then simple come back here and then run it so let's try to run it run as test ng and let's see is it really working or not so you can see yes browser is absolutely getting open google.com and then browser is closed which is absolutely working fine title is google is getting printed on the console if i really want to quickly check on the edge browser also so let's quickly do that and then simple run it so yeah the edge browser is coming and then you can see the google.com same thing it will work for the firefox or any other browser that you want to add you can add it there but let's see we don't have any support for opera browser so i simple say uh, opera browser then in that case it should not proceed further and then it should give me 
the error here it says that yes browser not found and it's giving me the null pointer exception so to avoid the null pointer exception what i can do and before returning the null or i can instead of returning the null i can throw my own custom exception here apply here okay so i simply say okay fine let's see runtime exception from here and then i'm passing a message here that uh, let's see browser not found something like this and then uh, put a semicolon here remove this unnecessary import from here and throw and return cannot be together so remove it from here now let's try that again so just to avoid the null pointer exception i simply say that uh, okay now see it's absolutely working fine it says that runtime exception browser not found here right so what do you think about this approach see this this approach is having its own pros and cons let's talk about the pros first of all that better code readability not unnecessary nested if condition or so many if else condition or unnecessary state uh sorry switch case statements are available no it is more concise easier to read perfect right simple centralized configuration where you just simple come back here and then tomorrow if you really want to add or extend some more browser support you can just keep adding it and then create your internal factory methods over here and this is a one single public access so we will give only one public access to the to the client so this is a typical case of encapsulation also here that public is internally using all these private methods and we are using the latest feature of jdk8 this is your functional programming you can say that see we are using the lambda expressions method expressions and suppliers functional interfaces that we are using it we can do that scalability is very important not only for this example tomorrow if you have n number of switch case statement or if else conditions you really want to add let's say tomorrow four more conditions or five more cases it will be difficult to add in the case in the switch case because you have to write four cases there and you have to change the existing code here you don't need to do that you just need to simple add the entry in the map and that's it and after that you don't need to change anything in these methods create a separate private method here right you don't need to change in the main logic so there is no impact on the existing code the chances are very less for the bug and regression bugs point of view also because that is a major advantage of the factory pattern right unnecessary no boilerplate code and more functional approach that we are using java 8 compliance over here like with the help of functional interfaces lambda suppliers and all those things now let's talk about the disadvantages the disadvantage here is that let's see if i'm passing only chrome then unnecessary we have to initialize the firefox and the edge also that is like almost negligible it will just create an entry of these two key and value pairs also inside the this particular hash map if you feel it that okay yeah so don't think okay number of lines of code that we have to add it is perfectly fine but you see that here three major things first of all that it's following the single responsibility principle that this class is responsible for a specific work only and typical factory pattern that we are using it here right not a, a typical or classic factory pattern but it's a enhancement of the flag, uh, factory pattern with respect to functional interfaces or functional programming we are using it here because supplier is what a functional interface right we are using the along with that we are using the jdk8 compliance also like lambda and everything we are using it here and then it is more scalable okay i can easily scale tomorrow more and more browsers or more conditions are coming or more browsers are coming i can easily scale it so this is scale it and plus less very less boilerplate code that we have written and it looks more and more readable that is also very important here it is actually more readable here perfect so i hope what do you i hope you like the solution what do you think about it put in the comment section can we improve this yes if you have any suggestion feel free to write in the comment section right every method is having its own responsibility to perform the certain action here so what do you think about this feature let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all